Hey there everybody! I'm professional juggler and comedian Sam Malcolm and today I'm going to teach you how to juggle! Just a few easy steps. I'm going to start off by teaching you all how to do three balls and then maybe we can go from there. Before we get started, I should just cover a few basics. The thing we're going to learn with today is the basic ball juggling. Uh, but there's so much other juggling that you could learn as well, such as ring juggling, club juggling, and even all three. Now, before we begin, you're gonna need something. It's really simple, pretty obvious. You're gonna need three balls. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, man, I don't have three juggling balls. How am I gonna do this? That's okay, because we can improvise. That's one of the things juggling teaches you. It teaches you how to think quick, how to adapt, which is why I recommend using either three balled up pairs of socks. Yeah, there's a couple pairs of socks. That'll do it. Uh, some fruit, oh, look at that, like an apple or an orange, or uh, I suppose you could use a banana or a papaya or a star fruit uh, or a cantaloupe or a watermelon. That's getting a little weird. Let's uh, cut those out. Okay. Uh, really, you just need something that's round that you can hold easily. Uh, so a baseball would work, a tennis ball, uh, a water balloon, an egg. Uh, but, you know, if you break either of the last two, that's on you, not on me. Full disclosure. So, let's begin. Uh, real simply, we're just going to start with a single ball. Now, this might seem really basic, this might seem below your skill level, but trust me, the fundamentals are the most important part, and we should start at the very beginning. The most fundamental step to juggling, which is throwing a single ball. Let's begin. Now, it might sound simple, but all you're really gonna do is throw that ball back and forth. Look at that, throw it up into the air, let it fall down, and catch. Practice this till you get bored. Practice it till your arms get tired. Practice it till your eyes get tired. This basic fundamental skill is the key to your success as a juggler moving forward. The better you can throw that single ball and catch it without looking, the better juggler you're going to become. As you throw, make sure the ball goes slightly above your head. You don't want it to go too low, but you don't want it to go too high. It also helps to make sure your feet are shoulder width apart, your knees are slightly bent, your shoulders are loose, and you're scooping from the outside inward with your elbows next to your sides. These scooping motions might not seem important, but it will help you later on if you do want to learn more. All right, so keep throwing that ball, practicing, and then let's move on. You're doing awesome. Now I think we're ready for two balls. Now this is gonna start out just like before. Throw the first ball, except this time, when that first ball starts coming down, you're gonna get ready and you're gonna throw that second ball exactly the same, right underneath it. Repeat on the other side, throw that first one and look at that, it's coming down. So get ready to throw the second ball now. Perfect. It's real simple. Just try to keep a steady rhythm. If you need to, you can say it in your head. Throw, 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 throw. Now a lot of people like to skip ahead by just passing it underneath. This is not juggling. I, I'm really sorry. This is just passing two balls around. But that's okay. Keep practicing all the other ways. You'll get it, I promise. All right, with two balls down, solid. Or rather, to the point that you're comfortable. Now we can finally get started on three balls. This is it the big moment you've been training for. Now it might seem like a lot, but I promise you're just about ready. So just go slow. Remember, the hand that's holding two balls is the one that throws first, and uh, relax. It's totally okay to drop as well. You gotta drop sometimes to get better. You gotta make mistakes to learn. So let's do it. Now remember with two balls where when you threw the first one, you got ready as it came down to throw the second one? This is exactly the same, except 
Now when you throw that second ball, you've got to get ready to throw a third ball and repeat it. Yeah, I know. It feels really fast the first try. So, uh, hey, why not slow it down a little bit for you? Let's watch this in slow-mo. So if you watch carefully, we just throw the first ball, throw the second ball, throw the third ball, and catch. Now we can't slow down time in real life, but the next best thing is just making sure you throw a little bit higher. If you feel rushed, just try throwing it a little bit higher above your head. Usually the easiest way to get better is to just throw them higher and higher and higher. After you get the hang of throwing all three, you just keep going. Just keep adding a throw. See how long you could do it. All right, so maybe you don't get three balls right away. That's okay. It took me a few weeks before I could really do three balls easily. So it might take you a little bit longer and it might happen really quickly. You can't let it discourage you. But I will add that once you get three balls, that's when you really, really, really can get excited because now you can start learning tricks. And I think that I want to show you just a couple of those tricks too. So if you guys are ready, let's get those three balls back out and check these out. Here's just a couple of the basic tricks that I can teach all of you real quickly. This first one, this is called an outside throw. Now to do this, instead of throwing on the inside, throw on the outside. So you scoop outwards and outwards and outwards. Another good one is one up and two up. Now one up, two up is about as simple as it sounds. It's one in the air and then two in the air. You can start with two balls, just like that. Real simple, right? Now let's make it a little bit harder. You're gonna throw two of the balls in the air and then when they start to come down, you're gonna clap your hands. Looks like this. And that gets you ready, that clap, for throwing that other ball. So it should go, two up, one up, two up. All right, I slowed this one down a little too, just to show you something. If you look at that single ball, that one in the middle, I'm actually throwing it back and forth between my hands. You don't have to do this, but I found that it makes it a lot easier for me to practice if I work on both sides at the same time. So I just go from right to left with that one, bounces in between, and uh, it's kind of a fun trick, but you can mix it up, whatever feels right. You can even combine it with that outside throw that I showed you before. So check it out, outside throw goes around it. Just makes it a little bit more fun. Here I'm passing it across. Now, that's a little bit harder, but you know, just try new stuff, that's the key. Okay, so now that we've covered the basics of three balls, I figured some of you probably wanna learn how to juggle four, right? Now, it sounds really difficult and maybe you're not quite ready. That's okay, you can keep, still keep working on three. But if you wanna give it a try, I think it's really fun and it never hurts to know more, you know? That's one of the great things about libraries too, is there's always tons of information, there's always tons of new things to learn. Juggling's the same way. There's always new things to learn, so. Let's get two balls in each hand. Now, unlike with juggling three balls, where they cross back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, four balls is a little simpler because they just stay on the same side. I'm not actually juggling four balls. I'm actually juggling two balls 
in each hand at the same time. Now, it might sound confusing, but just watch. See these two balls? They're just gonna go up from the inside and back out to the same hand. It's a lot like that one up, two up trick you just learned with three balls, in fact. Think about it, let's slow it down. Look at that, just two up, two up, two up, two up. Now this is a little bit more difficult, but luckily there's some cool ways that we can slow it down and even break it down to make it even easier than before. Here, check this out. Now to practice this, you just do those nice inside throws just like before. So you really just have to practice two balls in one hand, which is honestly just a little bit easier than juggling three balls with two hands. So uh, yeah, just give it a try. Make sure you do both sides. And then, just a flash. You can even try doing one of them after the other. This is called asynchronous. All right, and that's it. That's about everything you need to know to start off your life as a juggler. But. If you do want to know more, check this out. One of my very best friends actually just wrote a book on juggling. It's called Juggling, What It Is and How to Do It. You could pick up this book and it has so much information on everything you never even thought you needed to know about juggling. Uh, so if you want to become an advanced juggler, I highly recommend checking out this book at your local library. All right. My name is Sam Malcolm, and that's been my tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, hey, before I go, if you're interested in continuing your path as a juggler and you'd like a set of professional quality juggling balls, I always use Brontosaurus balls available here. And as a special bonus, the Pueblo City County Library has bought several sets of Brontosaurus balls to give away to viewers just like you. So definitely find out about that. And please thank the library for having this tutorial and having me. Uh, they put this together and without them, this wouldn't be possible. So thanks so much to the Pueblo City County Library and I hope I can work with them again soon.